Silo Mission serves three meals a day to hundreds. There's space at night for 140 people. Now they won't face judgment and questions at the door about their sobriety. Instead, the only thing that matters is how they treat others. I think it's somewhat of a great idea because you know what, it teaches people that they gotta live with what person they are, like whether they're on alcohol or drugs. Everybody is welcome, including people that are using substances, uh, so long as they can live into the behavioral code. That code, be safe, respectful, and focused on a person's needs. This really eliminates barriers for service for folks, but also is more just. We've had people in the past who are using substances who are lovely and caring and want to clean up after their neighbor, and people who are sober who are looking to create arguments. So there won't be a conversation about not being able to use substances or being redirected to one of our you know, partners in the sector who is open to people using substances because we're now one of those places. Norman Bedard has lived at Siloam for the past year and a half, not by choice. I used to have a home. I, I had a loving wife. She died from cancer. And my life's been upside down ever since. He sleeps in a big room with many other people every night and wants to be safe if others aren't sober. The problem is... People are getting in and then they're going into the bathrooms and doing things that we don't know. Then they come out and they're violent. I don't see it as any problem, as long as it doesn't turn into a big nightclub thing or something, you know. Lakey Whitecloud says levels of violence have actually decreased under the new model. Sabe Peace Walkers uphold the code of conduct in a trauma-informed way and will ask people to leave if they're not respectful or safe. But they can go through a restorative process to return. We are having amazing conversations with folks who for the first time are talking about, hey, uh, you know, I'm hearing voices and maybe I need this type of support and we can start to do that resourcing. A philosophical shift for the faith-based organization. But we recognize that addiction comes from trauma and we recognize that the experience of homelessness itself is a trauma. Because Mother Earth needs us. We need to heal. The only way it's gonna happen is if we start getting along and teaching each other how to get along. Yeah, I hope it's going to get better. I feel it is. Aaron Broman, CBC News, Winnipeg.